So we're in the Veneto region of Italy with Rosa Confondo, which um, is from Bacari. And the wine on the back says Vino Rosato Frizzante. And just a quick fun fact for Italian wines. So sometimes they'll say Frizzante and sometimes they'll say Spumante. So in the case of Frizzante, it's typically less sparkling than if it's Spumante. Spumante is like Prosecco is typically Spumante, like intense bubbles. Um, but a lot of times like uh, Lambrusco or Confondos, Colfondos may not have as many bubbles in them. And so they get labeled as Frizzante. So this one definitely is bubbly. Um, it has lovely teeny little fresh bubbles in it. Um, but it did not, you know, go nuts when I opened it or anything that said, always be careful when you open your sparkly wines. Um, so yeah, just a quick fun fact on that color is so cute and fun. Um, it's made from, oh, uh, I don't remember if it's a Rondinella or let me just do a double check. No, Corvina. So, um, it's made from one of the grapes that they use to make, uh, Amarone, uh, or Valpolicella. So that's pretty typical since we're from the Veneto region. And uh, yeah, that's just a fun fact as well. So on the nose, it smells like cotton candy. It just smells so like light and fluffy and fresh. It also has like these florals to it, like light florals, like walking through a wildflower uh, area. Maybe also like a little bit like rosy. It's a little deeper down here. It's like lighter fruits, like strawberries and peaches and cranberries. Definitely cherries too, but like not like ripe, juicy in your face cherries. Like they're sort of behind the scenes. Um, just very fresh feeling. So let's try it. Oh, what a lovely mouthfeel. So the the um, bubbles initially kind of like froth up to the top of your mouth and they kind of linger there with the acid that comes out, which is great. Um, and so it's like quite mouth coating, really acidic. Like my, uh, my mouth is still watering a lot. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's like, honestly, it almost even like kind of tastes like cotton candy because it's like, it evaporates in your mouth. So like quickly and almost like not lusciously because luscious, I feel like makes it seem like it might be um, more heavy and like it is light, light and airy. Like it's probably one of the lightest and airiest wines I've ever had. Um, yeah, it just tastes like strawberry and peaches in cotton candy with like a little peach, what did I say peach? And rose fluff on top of that. <laughs> and then it just goes whoop, right into your mouth. Um, so as far as pairing goes, doesn't need anything so good by itself. Um, if you want to, it does have enough structure that you could put it with, uh, this is a weird one, but smoked fish. I think someone else mentioned that. And I, I like the idea for this smoked fish is a hard thing to pair. So this is something that could go well with that. Um, otherwise, like, you know, we're talking about strawberries and peaches here. So summer salads, like I love the idea of arugula, balsamic and strawberries and this yum. Uh, you could also go like sandwiches, chips, just like stuff you'd take to the beach. It's easy. It's fun. It's cotton candy. I don't know. I just, I swear to God, that's what it is. So enjoy. <laughs> 